as we've talked about, the AP1000 really is a large modular reactor. And we often think that the SM, you know, the whole way that SMRs have been pitched to a lot of us is that these things will allow more of the percentage of labor to be done in a factory versus a large modular reactor. And in fact, what sort of peer-reviewed analyses say is it's actually kind of the opposite, right? Generally, because one of the issues that we've talked about with SMRs before is that these small, you know, these SMRs have so much civil works. And although you can often shrink down the nuclear island modules uh, and the nuclear island itself, bring that all into factory, the, the um, scaling, the amount that the civil work shrinks is much slower, is much lower than the amount of capacity that shrinks. So what happens is you start dominating more and more of your cost structure goes into civil works, such that if you take a new scale plant, right? The new scale power modules in a new scale plant cost less than 10% of the overnight cost of a new scale power plant, which means that a lot of the other labor is shifted. A lot of the other costs, excuse me, is shifted to civil works and other things that are used to improve the plant. They used to build the plant. As a result, what you see is when you look at analyses, and once again, we're relying on Robbie Stewart's work uh, at Cruz Shervin's lab, um, at for the nuclear cost estimation tooling, what you really do see here is that in a BWX 300 or an AP 300 or a new scale plant, more of the percentage of the overall, overall cost of the plant is on on-site work than on off-site work, and then it compared to an AP 1000, which is sort of counterintuitive to what I think a lot of what we've been sold on with SMRs. Now, the way I like to think about this is, is that the micro reactors are probably going to be still have a, the highest percentage if they ever get built and approved. They're going to have the highest percentage of, of work done in a factory. Then you sort of go into a valley, right, as you get done to the AP300, S, BWX300, and you come back up. Uh, to the AP1000s in terms of percentage of work that's done in a factory versus done at the site. And so that that is, I think, another reason why we're really trying to think a lot long and hard about consolidating on a single design and trying to to focus on building, deploying half a dozen or a dozen reactors. Right, right. And I, I think your uh, airplane and airports analogy was uh, quite fitting there. So with um with the SMRs, you are making and, and servicing smaller aircraft, but um, the size of the airport is not not uh, certainly it doesn't disappear. The airport is still there, uh, and it's not uh, decreasing uh, as significantly. So it actually becomes more of the actual cost. 